how South Africa and Wales will lock horns in the second Rugby World Cup semi-final on Sunday. Africa's last representative faces a dangerous team who will love nothing more than to exact revenge for the defeat to the Springboks in the 2015 quarterfinals. CGTN CS Duplessis has more on the showdown in Yokohama. All eyes will be on the International Stadium in Yokohama when two powerhouses of world rugby clash in a do-or-die World Cup contest. South Africa and Wales go head-to-head -head in a much-anticipated semi-final showdown, and former Springbok Peter Miller says he expects the men in green and gold to produce a vastly improved effort after some inconsistent performances. The Springbok uh, campaign so far, I think, has been a bit of a, a positive and a negative. I, um, I think, you know, we had some good games and bad games, but we got through... You know, the first round, you know, we had the quarterfinals, we won the quarterfinals. Um, but again, you know, we haven't played to our potential. Uh, you know, hopefully by this weekend in the semi final, we'll actually step up to the mark. Rassi Erasmus will rely heavily on his monstrous forward pack to outmuscle an already physical Welsh team. But Miller, who played at the 1999 World Cup, says the match could well be decided with the boot. There's some flair in the Welsh side, you know, there's some good players. You know, we can contain them, uh, we've got an opportunity, but I think it will all happen up front. You know, with the forwards, you know, we have to dominate there. If we can dominate them there, I think we can, we can actually have the, hopefully a win over them and a very tight one, I think. Despite the Springboks winning 28 of the previous 35 meetings since 1906, the men in green and gold go into the encounter as slight underdogs against Warren Gatlin's determined dragons. But the 33-cap veteran believes the box can prevail on the day. The Walsh has always been a factor, you know, the last couple of years. Um, I think, you know, South Africa had a couple of, you know, in a year tours, you know, guys have been tired. But coming to World Cup, I think it's going to be completely different. You know, it's a one-off game. You have to win the game. Um, and I think, you know, South Africa can step up and can, and can beat the, the Welsh on, on Sunday. South Africa have not beaten the Welsh since the 2015 World Cup quarterfinals and will be dead set on changing that in the match dubbed the Rugby Blockbuster featuring the Six Nations champions against the Rugby Championship winners. Either way, it promises to be a close game between two wily coaches, two powerful forward packs and two proud rugby nations. CS2 CGTN, Johannesburg.